what's going on guys? Right now I'm getting the uh, brake kit that I just got in for the shopping go-kart installed. So if you haven't seen this yet, I'm already kind of getting ready to weld some stuff. But I got this uh, kit on eBay. It's a hydraulic brake kit. It comes with this seven inch rotor and a hub that goes on a one inch axle. And I was a little worried that it was gonna hit on this bar right here, but it does clear. So I don't need to like trim the rotor down or anything like that. Comes with this hydraulic brake caliper. And right now what I'm getting ready to do is weld this uh, mount I made. So these bolts go all the way through and hold the two halves of this caliper together. And I'm going to have it mounted right here. And then I'm just gonna have this tab welded onto the bar right there. And that should be plenty to support the caliper. And then once I get all this stuff mounted up, I can work on making a pedal assembly. So this is like the cylinder right here where you put all the fluid in and then you need to rig up a pedal somehow to push this part back and forth right here. I can't do it with one hand because it's pretty stiff, but I think I'm gonna mount it just somewhere up here in the front and then you just fill that up with fluid and then you run the lines back to the uh, caliper back there. And I got some nylon line that came with the kit as well. So yeah, pretty straightforward. And like I said, just getting that caliper mounted up right now, and then I will figure out how to do the pedal once that is all welded up. All right, so I got my tab tacked into place, and that's gonna hold the caliper where it needs to be. And right now I'm just making sure everything's spinning freely and nothing's rubbing, and everything's looking good. You can actually hear the disc just barely hitting on the brake pads inside, and that's just because it's uh, sliding back and forth because it's not tightened to the axle at all. So you could actually hear it starting to go quiet right there, but if you slide it all the way to one side, you can hear it rubbing. But then when you actually slide it over and center it, it should be silent. Yeah, so I just gotta get that disc brake tightened down because it's just sliding back and forth in between there and I need to pull those two bolts out of the caliper, get that tab all the way welded down because I'm liking where that's sitting. And I also need to get a keyway made because right now I have a drill bit going in between the axle and this little hub right here to act as a keyway for right now. But once I get a keyway made, I'll be able to tighten this hub down onto the axle and then I'll be able to uh, put all four bolts into the disc right here and get this tightened down as well. And then once I put the caliper back on after everything's welded up, the whole back of the cart will be ready to go. And then I just have to make the pedal up front and get it mounted and then run the lines back to the caliper right here and get everything bled off. I'm not sure if I'll do all that today or not, but I will at least get this uh, tab all the way welded up and I'll have the uh, back half of the cart done for sure. So yeah, gonna get that all the way welded up and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, so I got the caliper all the way mounted up, the tabs fully welded, and I don't think that's going anywhere. There is just the one tab right there, and if I need to add a second one on this side later on, I can, because it's only being held up by this one side. But I think that should be plenty strong. It is a pretty thick piece of metal, and it is very sturdy on there. And nothing hits, everything spins freely, so that's looking awesome. So right now I'm working on getting the pedal all done up. So what I'm gonna do is try to mount this cylinder up front right here. I'm pretty sure this thing's designed to be mounted like a little behind the actual brake pedal. And then you have like a push rod going into one of these three holes right here. So you can put it on the very bottom one for less throw or the middle one for more and then the top one for the most uh, throw on this little lever right here. So you can kind of change the sensitivity of your brake pedal. But I really don't have a good spot to put it like back over here and then run a rod to it. And if I were to do that, it would also sit up really high. So the best way I see to mount this and the easiest way 
is to just put it up here in the very front. I already do have a plate with two holes drilled. I'll show that in a second. But just mount it all the way in the front and then either bolt a piece of metal coming off of this or just weld a piece of metal to this lever right here. Have it come up and then have a piece kind of come off of that where I can put my foot on it to uh, just press this lever forward. And it is really hard to get with one hand, but that should work just fine. So then I can just put my foot on it and just push the whole thing. The only issue with that is it might make it uh, really sensitive because these usually don't have too much throw before they start to uh, put pressure on the disc. So it might just be a really small uh, pedal throw and I might just have to be really careful because the brakes might be touchy, but that's something I can live with. We'll see how it works because I've never done this at all. So I'm kind of just experimenting with this. So I have this little plate right here that I'm going to weld on the side of the cart. I already have two holes drilled through it. I need to get some longer bolts for it though. I'm just gonna tuck this back behind this bracket right here. I can weld it to the bottom of this on the cart and then I have all this to weld to as well. So that should be plenty strong. And then with this plate welded right here, I'll be able to just slide this guy right on like so, like that and get it bolted down and it should be tight right there. Then I'll have my pedal coming off of this and then over. Then I'll just put my foot right here to push on that. And then all I gotta do is run the lines going from this cylinder back to the caliper. And hopefully everything works as it should. So I think that should be a pretty good way to do it. So I'm gonna get this piece welded to the cart and find some longer bolts, get the lever bolted down. And before I fully weld everything up, I would like to get the lines ran and just test out everything and make sure it works before everything is uh, like solid and in place in case I do have to change it up for some reason. So gonna get this tacked on and then I might be able just to move this enough with my hand to test the brakes for right now once I get some fluid and some lines ran for it. All right, so I got the cylinder in the front all mounted up and I got the lines ran to the caliper going to the back and I already went ahead and put some fluid in there. It's not all the way filled up yet, but the bottom line is pretty much completely uh, filled with fluid. I was kind of pumping the pedal just a little bit and you can even see on this top line, you can see that purple fluid move back and forth when I push down on the pedal right there. So what I gotta do is bleed the brakes out and how I'm going to do that is I have this zip tie right here at the front of the cart and I'm just going to push this pedal all the way forward and then have this zip tie hold on to the bolt right here and kind of hold the whole lever forward and then I can go back here and crack the bleeders right here on both sides, let all the air out, then tighten them back down and then just keep repeating the process until all the air is out of the lines. and. Even with it how it is right now, and I haven't bled anything at all, they're already starting to work. So, I mean, I have the chain and stuff hooked up right now, so you can't really see it, but earlier I didn't have the chain on there, and I could spin the axle freely, and I'd just barely tap this, and it would start to uh, stop the whole axle. So, it is working. I just gotta get it completely bled out, and then we should be ready to go. And I also was working on making a uh, extension for this thing, so I can actually have a pedal to put my foot on. So I have this piece of metal right here with two holes drilled in it for right now. And I plan on bolting this to the lever right there. And then I'm going to weld this bar off of it like that. So it will sit in there, something like that and match the uh, throttle pedal right there. Then I'll just be able to push on that and the brake should work. So I'm gonna get these all bled out. And I think once I get that done and I get the pedal all made up, 
we'll be ready to take it on a test drive once I put the back tire back on. So I'm gonna get to it. All right guys, so I pretty much got everything back together. I did just take it around the block to make sure everything was working as it should and the brakes seemed to be working perfect. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on my helmet and take it around the block again, take you guys along for the ride. And I did have to put the battery in the back because it was sitting right here beside the seat, but that's where the brake lines go now. So I had to relocate it to the back and you guys know me using my trusty ratchet straps. It'll be fine right there. So. Yeah, gonna get the GoPro and helmet on and take it around the block. A few moments later. Whoops. Well, ratchet strap didn't hold, battery is dragging on the ground. But other than that, it's been a successful drive so far. This thing gets it, and now that it has brakes, it's not nearly as sketch to drive. And the brakes work so good. But yeah, I gotta ratchet strap this down a little better. It was starting to fling some sparks. So good thing it didn't completely go through it and ruin it. All right, got a new ratchet strap. I think the other one like broke or something because it's missing the other hook. It just like completely fell off somewhere, but Gonna take it around the block again. Running out of daylight, so gotta get these clips in. Alright guys, so I got the shopping cart back in the garage. Uh, it is starting to get pretty dark out, so had to bring her in, and I was just starting to have so much fun too, guys. This thing gets down. The brakes work so good, and now it's not even sketched to like go really fast with it, because before there was no brakes at all, and I'd have to downshift to get it to slow down, and it was like really sketched, so I'd never ring it out. I definitely took it out and like gave it all a fifth gear that time. I was probably hitting like 40, 45 miles an hour. I didn't completely rev it out, but I definitely uh, was hauling ass in this thing. It is so fun. The brakes work perfect. Um, like I said, I'm just, I'm just amazed with this thing right now. Still gotta get that battery uh, all the way tied down. The second ratchet strap held a lot better than the first one, and I still gotta get all the proper grounds and shit, but that will be for another day. It's slowly getting more legit each time, so. I'm, I'm super happy with this thing guys. It's come so far. I do look forward to making more videos about this thing in the future and once I get all that wiring figured out and the battery actually bolted down, it will pretty much be complete. I'll probably take everything apart and paint the frame, make it all gray so there's no bare metal so it doesn't rust over time. But other than that, it's pretty much in its finished stage. There's just, now it's just the tiny little things but now it has everything it needs on the cart, I just gotta make everything less ghetto now, but everything's there. So, I'm super happy with how this turned out. And another thing, like the brake pedal kinda looks 
uh, kind of bulky because I just use a square piece of metal right here. So I'm probably going to cut this and kind of smooth it out and make it look a lot nicer, but it works flawlessly. And the, the brakes aren't even that touchy. Like it's literally perfect uh, having the pedal on the cylinder right there. So like I said, I'm just super happy with it. Can't wait to get everything just 100% legit so I can just take it out and rip it and hopefully make some more videos about this thing in the future because I do have some more plans. Obviously, I still wanna put the turbo on it and stuff like that, but I still have a couple other ideas for this thing before I get that deep into uh, putting like a turbo kit on it and everything. I still have a couple other things I'd like to do. But yeah, guys, super happy with the shopping cart. Uh, it's definitely come a long way since we first picked it up. If the uh, OG subscribers remember the condition, uh, we brought this over here and I'll, I'll play a couple videos of it. It was just a pile of crap. Got the shopping cart, go-kart, a little 49cc motor on it. Hasn't been running a while. Uh, I do plan on putting like a pit bike motor in here or something, making it a lot more powerful. Cause I'm pretty sure this motor only has like two horsepower and it lost a lot of that cause I don't have the right exhaust pipe on it and shit. But it'd be sick if we could fit like a 125 in here with a four speed. I made this thing in my welding class like three years ago I think. So I made all this stuff up here. It's all rusted out now, but all the steering stuff, all these brackets. But it's kind of a piece of shit. So I liked the idea. So I want to restart from scratch, probably completely take it all apart again. <laughs> what? Dude, I bet it would. Yeah. We get some like actual go kart tires on it, mm -hmm. but it pop. Probably pop a wheelie. <laughs> So yeah, started this project in my welding class like probably a good four or five years ago now. And we picked it up from my parents' house. It was a hunk of junk. Uh, I really did not know what I was doing at the time. And I know there's still some things on it now that could be uh, done a lot better than I did it. But compared to how it was when we brought it, this thing was just a pile of crap. And now uh, it's turned into something I think is really badass. Like I said, definitely could have done some things better but it is also a big learning process. I've learned a lot about like go-karts and just fabricating stuff, just making this thing, because it's the first go-kart I've ever made in my life. And I think it came out pretty good. So yeah, I'm really happy with it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. That's gonna be it for tonight. Thanks for watching.